Hey guys, Pastor Willie here and welcome to Accelerate Online. Before we get started with anything, it is time for me to give you my top eight things to survive this quarantine. Number one, TP toilet paper. You've got to have it. Everybody's getting it. It's almost impossible to find. I found one roll for this video. That's it. I'm just saying, TP is what you need. Two goes right in alongside it. Hand sanitizer. Everybody's got it. Everybody wants it. And nobody can find it. Sanitizer, and they go together. Because here's the thing. If you run out of this, it's not the end of the world. Because you have this. And everybody has a bathtub, a shower, or a hose outside. When you mix a hose, water, whatever it is, and hand sanitizer, boom, clean bottle. Three, candy. You can't do quarantine without candy. It's impossible because let's be honest, everybody wants candy. Oh, I love Milk Duds. Four, snacks, baby. Gotta have snacks. Can't do anything without snacks. I'm just saying, snacks is the way to go when you make snacks. Candy, it's Jesus in a basket. Five. Now this one's close to me, and I love it with all my heart. And that is a simple guitar. Nobody can live a quarantine without a guitar. The reason is, it doesn't matter if you can sing or not sing, you get a chance to play some, some, oh, Lisa, Lisa, I know you're recording this. Give me one word and I'll sing about it. Germex. G ger really, Germex? Okay, okay, I got it. Germex, Germex, I need. Oh, hold on. Need, need, hold on. Need, need you. Germex, Germex, I need you. Off the top of my head, I'm just saying. I'm a gift at these things. I'm just a gift of amazingness. Number six, a phone. Right here, everybody, everybody needs a phone. If you don't have one, you better get one. Now, seven, it's near to in my heart, kind of like the guitar was, but this one's really important because here's the thing, it's something important. Uh, hey Siri. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, let's try that again. Hey Siri. Hmm, Siri's, Siri's being dumb. Hey Siri. I'm trying my best. Clearly. FaceTime Courtney Bard. Making a FaceTime call to Courtney Bard. She's not gonna answer. Let's see. She ain't gonna answer. Hey! hey. Look at that. I didn't know she was gonna answer, but she answered. Hey, I, I'm doing a video of my top eight things that I need for quarantine. And you just, you just happen to be, yeah, yeah, you're on the list, uh, you're, you're number seven on my list. I just got to you. Wait, what? I'm number one? You're, you're number seven. There's, there's eight of them and you're number seven. Seven, seven. Yeah, number seven. Uh, oh, I, I'm like, I'm counting down, like, my top one is number eight, like, so, like, you're number... number I'm still number two? E e uh, I think something's going wrong, um, I, I love you, about that. Um, that'll be a conversation later, but, that all being said, number eight of the top of my list is you, Accelerate. Can't live it without you. Staying connected is the most important thing. So Accelerate, you made it to my top eight. You are number one on my list. Hey, baby. Jermac. No, I'm, no. Listen. No. Lisa and I came up with a good song. I need you to focus. Like it's time. I'm fully focused on my song. No, it's time for a camera life. Fine, I'll put it down. Hey guys, we are so glad that you joined us for Accelerate Live. Super glad. And Willie's focused now. So. I'm fully focused, fully engaged. You'll have me for the rest of the time, I promise. 
like not that long. You guys don't have to stay here that long. But what does it mean to be focused? Willie? It means to stare intently. No, it doesn't. What do you mean? I mean, what does it mean to focus on something? If you're focused on something. To pay attention to it. See, watch. Okay, but. <laughs> okay, so when we looked it up, focus meant it's the thing to that you. To pay attention. No. It's the thing that you pay attention to the most. Oh. That's what's taking your focus. So right now, the focus of everything is quarantine. Quarantine. And the coronavirus. And the coronavirus. I'm, and everybody's a little panicked. I'm glad you made it to my list. We'll talk about that later. Quarantine. So everybody's at home. Everybody is stuck doing the same things, being around their parents, and being their around siblings. their siblings. Um, you name it, you're, you're playing Xbox too long, you're calling uh, people on the phone, you're... Staying up too late, eating way too bonbons. much Bonbons. Yeah. Milk duds, I'm just saying. They're on, they're, Not a they're sponsor. spilled on my computer. Not a sponsor. But what are the things that we really need to be focusing on? Because that's what we really need to look yeah. at. Like, we've got tons of time right now where we are literally stuck in our houses. And so what are the things that we need to focus on so that we don't get stuck in a rut, so that we don't get depressed, so we don't get um, out of our sink of what where we need to be, so we don't get to a place where we're not growing in our relationship with Christ. So we want to talk to you guys about the top three things that you guys need to be focusing on while you're quarantined. So focus on community and not clout. Um, basically, we all want clout these days. We want TikTok clout. I made a TikTok. Check me out. It, At Youth Pastor Riley. It took way too much focus. Know. Way too hey, much focus. Way too much. It took um, a long but time. But we all want clout, whether it's clout at school or clout uh, on TikTok or social media or whatever it may be. Right. We all want clout. But the problem is with clout, a lot of times you don't have that com community. You're not worrying about anybody else. And that's not where we're supposed to be. So, it, And in Galatians 6, 2, it talks exactly about that community. It, it talks about um, taking one another's burdens um, upon yourself. Being able to go to a friend and say, hey man, what's going on? And, and right now you might not be able to go to their house, but you can talk via Snapchat or uh, Instagram. You, you name a social media, there's some way to direct message right. or talk to. Um, and so you have these opportunities to reach out to your, your friends or, or your family and, and say, hey, how are you doing? Like, yeah. what can I do for you? Versus only thinking about yourself. We get caught up with is, man, this, this whole thing is bumming me out. I, I don't get to go to school. I right. don't get to see my friends. But what we have to realize is, is yeah, it may be an inconvenience for you and I, but but think about the people that that might have it worse, yeah. and and figure out a way that you can help them. Whether right you can now encourage them. Right now, for instance, there's elderly people in nursing homes that don't get to see their families, that don't get to be around their kids, that don't get to see their grandkids, and and how could we? make this transition, this quarantine period, a little bit better for them, whether it's calling a grandparent that you haven't seen in a long time, right. or calling a friend that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, just reaching out and, and building that community and not getting so stuck on what you're doing and how you can make yourself better and how you can make your arena a, a better place for you. Um, so that, that's the very first one. Focus on the community around you and not the clout that you could build. All right, so the second thing is to focus on the content and not capital. Like the stuff you have wanting to get more. You guys see on the news, you see on Facebook, people are freaking out trying to go get 100,000 rolls of toilet paper. Yeah. They're worried about getting more stuff for them. They're worried about all the stuff that they want to get Oh, all the shows they want to watch, the videos they want to make, and they're worried about all the things that are coming into their house or coming through their screen, all the things that they want to see. And we have to make sure, though, that the things that we're taking in, that content that we're taking in and all this spare time, I know some of you have been binge watching something on Netflix or on Hulu. Superhero, and so I watch anything sure superhero. That all that content that's coming in, 
you need to focus on that too. Not just about having the supplies you need, but the spiritual supplies that you need to make it through this stretch where you're stuck at home. You have to make sure that you're getting um, the support that you need um, and spending that time with Jesus, making sure that the things that are going into your ears and your eyes as you're watching things, um, it's something that is going to be high quality because it could be really um, easy for you to get in a slippery slope watching something and slowly getting into watching worse and worse shows because it's just a little bit worse than this show or it's about the same as that show and really like assessing what you're letting go into you. Yeah, capital doesn't have to be belongings. Capital is simply, the like Courtney was saying, the things that you're allowing to take a precedence in your life, taking that capital in your life, it could be the things that uh, maybe you're cutting out. Um, and so maybe you're not taking capital in the word of God and you're allowing that to drop out. And so um, focusing on, on what content you're allowing in your life during this quarantine um, is going to be so relevant right now. And, and one of those things that you really have to focus on, because if you're not careful, I mean, like I said, I love watching superhero shows and it, it's super easy for me to sit down and binge watch season after season after season right. um, because I've done it. But it, in this moment is, is a turning point in your life to choose what you're going to allow in your life and what you're going to um, pour into your life will always, yeah. always pour out of your life. In, in Matthew seven seventeen, it says, just as you identify a tree by its fruit, so can you identify people by their actions. When, when you allow negativity to take up capital in your life, when you allow uh, things that you know may be wrong, wrong shows, wrong music, um, wrong people speaking into your life, when you allow that to take capital and, and you give it a landmark in your life, that's what's going to pour out of your life. And so we have to be very, very careful to focus on the positive and focus on what's going to build others up and what's going to build yourself up. Um, and so that content is going to be a very big choice right now during quarantine. Yeah, you have so. to be very intentional about it, about what you're allowing to impact and affect you. There are some times that I've watched shows before and I thought later like, oh, I feel anxious or I feel stressed out after I watched it. And so you can get yourself in a funk even if you like that show, like how is that impacting you? And then how is that affecting the people around you? Because if the output of what you're, you know, if you watch a show that's making you cranky or anxious and then you're like that to the people around you, that's the fruit that's coming out of you. So you've got to look at how the things that you're watching, the things that you're spending time doing, how they're impacting you. Because if your actions and your words are not loving and are not things that it talks about in Galatians, it talks about the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so it talks about love and joy and peace and patience. And y'all, when you're all locked in a house together, you need a lot of those things. Yeah. And so if the we things that you're allowing, yeah. If the things that you're allowing to impact your you, your eyebrows when you're talking to me like that. <laughs> if the things that you're allowing to impact you don't produce that fruit coming yeah. out of your mouth or your attitude, then you need to reevaluate the things that you're letting um, take up your time during this quarantine time. The best measuring stick uh, for knowing what content you're allowing to capitalize in your life is legitimately Galatians five twenty two. Um, through 23 like when it says the Holy Spirit produces love joy peace patience kindness goodness uh, faithfulness like gentleness self-control like you when you look at your content up against Galatians 522 like you'll know if it is good content or it's capital that shouldn't be there so what is the, our third purpose? And the last one is focus on Christ, not control. Yeah. There are lots of things going on right now that we can't control. We can't control it. You can't control it. Your parents can't control it. We have to focus on Christ and know that God's got all of this in his hands. He's got everything under control. We don't have to worry about it. Um, he didn't ask us to know everything. 
He asks us to trust him. And so in this, we have to trust him and know that we're going to focus on Christ and knowing the promises that God has given us in his word and focus on standing on that, yeah. on the times that are scary and really, really not get stuck on things feeling out of control because we don't have to have them in control. God has things under control. We don't have to worry about the details. For instance, Courtney's about to feel very out of control. When I do this, when I do that, there was no way for me to control where every single one of these went. It, it was still happening. It was still going to happen. Uh, but what Courtney had to, to decide in the moment <laughs> is what her reaction to that was going to be. Now, she shook her head and closed her eyes because, honestly, that was not in our outline. I, <laughs> I fully came up with that right now. You're welcome. But it's, it's simple. A lot like this uh, it, with, with God is God takes a, a, a situation that to us is so crazy. And, and so, doesn't make sense. Exactly. And, and no, he doesn't just, boom, take it away. Can he? Absolutely. But a lot of times what he does, he gives you peace in that crazy situation. Um, but the only way to do that is to rely 100% on mm -hmm. him. To say, okay, God, like my focus is you. Right. Um, I can't cr control this craziness. I can't control the fact that we're in quarantine. I can't control the fact that uh, coronavirus is going crazy right now. But God, what I can do is control my attitude to the situation and my attitude will reflect you. Right. And the only way to do that is by getting in the word. Every day. Every single day. We talked about the YouVersion app. Uh, we we talk about it a lot. Right. Is downloading that YouVersion app and, and spending time, do a reading plan. Do a reading plan with somebody. Oh, absolutely. So that Use you can that connect with them and, and really discuss what you're reading. So, so with that being said, like all of this, our focus is about... Uh, focus on community, yeah. reaching oh. out and really yeah. uh, being the hands and feet of Christ during the situation. Focus on what you're allowing to consume your time and take your focus and focus on Christ. If that's not something that is taking your time up, your relationship with Christ, then you need to reevaluate what you're spending yeah. your time on because you guys have lots of free time right now. And just remember, like, we don't feel like it's in control, but mm. you know what? God's in control. Absolutely. We don't have to feel like we're in control all the time. God's got it, and he's going to uh, walk us through the season as crazy as it is, and he's not going to let us fail. He's not going to leave us. Absolutely. The biggest thing that we talk about every single Wednesday is the 15-minute challenge. Five minutes in worship, five minutes praying, five minutes in your Bible. Like, you've got to take that time to, to spend with Jesus. Um, and here's the thing. You may be watching this, and you may not even know Jesus or have a relationship with Jesus. That's okay. Like, tonight's the night for you. Tonight's the night for you to say, I'm ready to put my focus on Jesus and God, and, and I'm tired of trying to do this and control all of this by myself. Because um, it's stressful. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it's easy to ask God in your heart, man. You, you ask him, you believe without a shadow of a doubt, and you completely, completely give it all to him. Like, without, without holding back. Right. Um, does that mean that it's going to be easy every single day? Absolutely not. Craziness happens every day. And, and it's a choice to focus on him. Um, so if you want to make that decision today, man, I want to pray with you. So let's pray. Jesus, we love you. God, we thank you that, that we have a choice to focus on you. God, we pray right now that you would uh, take this time during this quarantine to, to show us that you are real. God, we, we put everything in your hands. God, we pray that you would, you would help us build that community. God, that we would, we would pay attention to the content that's coming in. God, and most importantly, that our focus would be on you. And if you want to make that decision to, to accept Jesus into your heart today, pray after me. Jesus, I love you. And I'm ready to focus on you. 
Forgive me of my sins. I give them all to you. I hold nothing back. I choose to believe in you. I put my past behind me. And I look to my future with you. I love you in your name. And if you made that decision, man, tell us in the comments or direct messages. We right. want to know and we want to send you a gift. Um, so direct message us, type us on Facebook, whatever, right. whatever, whatever it is. Platform let is. us know that you decided to make God number one in your life. And we love you and we can't wait to talk to you guys and see you guys in person. See you guys. See ya.